Welcome, this is your Option Monster Volatility Sonar Report. From the floor of the SIBO, this is Jamie Tyrrell of Group 1 Trading. Well, after the Goldman news hit Friday, we haven't been able to regain any positive momentum this morning. Down again in spite of strong earnings out of Citigroup and a number of other companies. Really, it seems this Goldman news has given a lot of people pause and has made a lot of people pull some money off. And a little 2% pullback so far is what we're looking at. In the VIX, we've seen a big move upwards yesterday in the rally, I mean Friday, and then we rallied into the close. VIX moved back down under 19. It's popped again this morning. Right now, we're two days away from expiration. So VIX expires on Wednesdays. Every other product here on the floor has already expired their April options. And people are paying significant premiums for April insurance in the VIX. Right now I'm looking at the April 1819 strangle. That's trading about 80, 90 cents. And so buyers of that are predicting that we're gonna move outside of this band that we're in right now. This Right now we're at 1865 in the VIX. They're hoping for a move towards 20, a move towards 16, a big move into expiration. <clears throat> if we don't see that move, that strangle's gonna expire worthless if we sit right here in the 18s. Other than that, we've seen a lot of people pull back on volatility in May and June. Everything really exploded on the Goldman news. April has stayed strongly bid, and it will probably be bid into expiration. But May and June are moving back downwards. They're sellers of the May 20 straddle and the June 20 straddle. May traded 375, and June traded 475. June traded 20,000 times. <clears throat> So there's a number of people in the marketplace who are playing short-term VIX moves over the next two days and long-term VIX volatility lower. They think maybe the panic from the Goldman news was a little bit overblown in terms of long-term impact and expect a quieter VIX after we get through these next few days. We'll see how it plays out. April is the hotly traded month right now with only two trading days left. This is Jamie Tyrrell with Group One Option Monster. Hi everyone, this is Noah Warsaw. We're at Chicago Board Options Exchange here at the ETF Super Pit. Obviously financials have been all over the place over the last two days with the Goldman Sachs news coming out on Friday. We saw implied volatility on Friday skyrocket in May from 26 to 32. There was everybody from institutional to retail was buying. I couldn't take my volatility curves up fast enough. Now, here's what's happening today. A very, very large trade went up today, initiated by Goldman Sachs. They came in and they bought the May 15-16 put spread while selling the May 17 calls. This was against 16.35 stock and it traded for exactly even. So this happened 122,000 times on each line. Now, on the face level, it looks very bearish, right? Buyer of put spread, seller of upside calls. But in reality, this trade results in a net Vegas seller. So because of the fact that the 16 and 17 line each have three Vega per option and the 15 line has two, this leaves the initiator with a short 244,000 Vega position in XLF. The entire thing crossed, so we don't really know who's on the buy side and who's on the sell side, but the reality is, is there's a lot of interest right now in this product. Implied vol is creeped back in in May, it's trading around 27, and the term structure is completely flat going out to 2012. So what's in store for financial vol? Nobody really knows, but the reality is is vol is in from Friday after we saw a big explosion, and we're just gonna have to see how this Goldman case plays out and how other future financial legislation plays out. It's gonna be an interesting ride, and here at ETF Super Pit, we're providing liquidity for anyone who wants to play. Best of luck with your positions, and I hope you have a great trading week.